Alright guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get a professional email address for your store. Now, it's incredibly important that you get a professional email address for your store to install trust in your customers. If your store, for example, if your email is fightmonk at gmail.com, when customers see that for customer support inquiries, they won't trust you as much. So it's incredibly important that you go ahead and get a professional email address made. Now, there are two ways to get professional email addresses. The first way is with Google Workspace which costs around $5 per month. And the second way is with Zoho, which is a free email software. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a professional email address from Zoho. So this is the software we're gonna be using. Click the first link and in here, we wanna get started with a, we wanna get started with the free plan. So click pricing and come down to forever free plan and click sign up now. So in here, you wanna put the name of the store. So I'm gonna put Fight Monk and then the email we created fightmonkstore at gmail.com and then we want to add a password. Once that's done, agree to the terms of conditions and then click sign up. And then you need to get the, the one-time password from your email. So I'm going to go back into the email and get the one-time password, the Zoho verification code. And I'm going to copy and paste that into Zoho. And I'm going to click verify. So here we are in the admin. And now what we want to do is we want to connect the email to Shopify. So we're going to click add now and I'm going to put the domain name in. So fightmonk.com. I'm going to call it fightmonk. And then for industry type, I'm going to go with retail and e-commerce. And I'm going to click add. And then we want to proceed to domain verification. So click here. And after you've done that, go to your Shopify settings, go to domain and go to the domain you purchased and click domain settings. If you didn't buy the domain from Shopify, the domain settings option will not show. So if you bought your domain from GoDaddy or Namecheap, you have to go to the domain settings on that website. Edit DNS settings. And in here, you wanna scroll down and edit the TXT record. So go in here and copy and paste these records. Copy the TXT name and put it here. And then go ahead and copy the TXT value and put it in the TXT value section here. And then click confirm. And then once you've done that, you can verify the TXT record and the domain should be verified. Now remember, before you verify, make sure you remove the password page on your online store preferences. If you don't remove the password page, your domain will not be verified. So here you can create the email for your account. I'm going to go with support at fightmonk.com. In the previous video, I did write info at fightmonk.com. However, that email address already exists for some reason. So I'm going to change it to support at fightmonk.com. So once you've created your email address, you're going to go ahead and click create. And then you're going to click proceed to set up groups and then proceed to DNS mapping. So now we want to go into here and we want to put all of these records into Shopify. So the first one we're going to do is the MX record. So go in here and copy and paste the host. So go into Shopify and remove the current MX record. So click remove. And then click add custom record, MX record, and put the first name as at, and then put the value. So go in here, copy and paste it. And the priority for the first one is 10. And set the priority as 10. After that's done, you wanna add the second one. So copy and paste the value. Go ahead, add custom record. Click at, copy and paste the record and set the priority as 20. And then once that's done, add one more MX record. So once again, the name is going to be at, then copy and paste the value from here, and then copy and paste the priority, which is 50. And after that's done, that will be the MX records. After you've done the MX records, you wanna go ahead and do the same with the SPF record. So go in here and copy and paste the SPF value and you want to do a TXT record here. So go into here and click add custom record. Once again, the name will be at and then copy and paste the TXT value into here and click confirm. And after you've done that, do the same with the DKIM number. So once again, copy and paste the host. It's going to be a TXT record, add custom record, TXT record, copy and paste the host, copy and paste the name and then copy and paste the value from here onto the TXT value. After you've done that, click confirm. And then go ahead and click verify all records. 
So now, as you can see, all our records have been successfully verified. So then click proceed to email migration, proceed to go mobile, and proceed to set up completion. And now our email address is complete. So you can go to the inbox here. So now our email is completely created. We're gonna send a test email to ourselves. So we're gonna go here and click new mail. We're gonna send our email to our Gmail account. So I've put the email in here. Uh, subject line will just be test. And then I'll just write hello in here. And once this sends, we'll be able to go into our Gmail and make sure that the email account is fully set up. So here we are in our Gmail account. As you can see, the FightMonk email has come through, support at fightmonk.com. So now this confirms that our email has been professionally set up. All right guys, in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to get a logo made for your store in under five minutes. Now, in the beginning, you don't need a professional logo. All you need is a simple text logo to get started with. You don't need to spend a lot of money on a professional design agency to get you a logo. So to do this, you wanna go to Google and go to fontget.com. So go to fontget.com, click the link, and then on here, you can go through and go through all the different fonts. So go ahead and pick a font that matches your brand's aesthetic. So you can go through here and go through the basic fonts, party fonts, old school, style, fancy, modern, famous, and dingbats. There's a lot of different styles in here. You know, there's thousands of styles to go through. Um, you, know, you can go in here and click antique, and you can use you know, any of these for your logo. So for our brand, as it's a fighting brand, I'm gonna use the fighter font. So I'm gonna go in here and write fighter. And we wanna use this font here. So I'm gonna click onto the font and I'm gonna write my brand name on here. So our brand is called Fight Monk. So I'm gonna write Fight Monk here. So I wanna go ahead and screenshot it. After that's done, I wanna go to a website called Canva. And in Canva, you can go ahead and resize your logo to fit different social platforms. So what I wanna do is I wanna click create a design. And for now, I'm gonna do an Instagram post. So it's gonna be a 1080 by 1080 image. So I'm gonna go to here, click upload, upload file, and upload the screenshot that I just took from fontget.com. And once that's done, I wanna put it here into the actual image and make it larger. And that's all you have to do. As you can see, our logo is made. Now to download this, all you have to do is click share and then click download. And this will be downloaded to your computer. It only took us a few minutes to do, but the logo is incredibly simple. It looks professional. It gets the job done.